Welcome to the Life as Usual video blog, a video series dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today, I want to talk about being heard and hearing someone else, and the fact that sometimes a cup of coffee is worth more to someone than a raise. Please like, subscribe, share this amongst your teams. The big frustration is, how do you build rapport with your team? How do you get them to use their gifts on the project or goal that's ahead of you? And sometimes it's not money. Sometimes people wanna feel listened to. But the problem is, a lot of times, a lot of us decide, hey, let's give that person a raise. What do I mean by a coffee can mean more than a raise? I look at coffee as the easiest entry point into someone's day. Most of us love coffee, and if they don't love coffee, they love tea. And if they don't love tea, well, we all like taking a walk. Second, a coffee shop is probably close to where you work. It's close enough that no one ever questions someone going on a coffee break. How does being heard affect people? Being heard makes someone feel that they're valued. We all come to work understanding that what we do translates into money. That's why most of us show up. However, showing up means showing up to do the bare minimum. People wanna feel connected to the work they do. And they can't do that unless they're being heard. And heard even when they don't talk. The only way you're gonna to get to that is by a deeper conversation. And coffee is an easy primer to make that happen. How can you put this into practice? Well, you can put this into practice easily. 3, 3.15, 2 o'clock, doesn't matter what time in the afternoon, just designate it coffee time. Most places don't have a problem with somebody getting up and going to the break room. When you do that, just pull somebody and just have a conversation. Big mistake is people think these have to be serious conversations. They really don't. Sometimes just talking about the next game or talking about what the Cowboys did is enough to make someone feel hurt. So how can you implement this in your life to be a more impactful leader? Let's look at it through the lens of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Self-awareness. You have to be aware that people wanna be heard more than just through their work. They wanna be recognized as people. And recognizing someone as a person is easy. You just have to communicate with them. Sometimes it's lunch, sometimes it's coffee, sometimes it's a walk in the park, sometimes it's a one-on-one. -on -one. There's a million ways to do it, but you have to be aware that people want to hear from you and they want to feel like they want to be heard. They want to have someone reach out and connect with them. Execute. How do you execute on this? Well, three o'clock, 2.15, 2 o'clock, 1.30, sometime in the afternoon. One, have a coffee place ready in mind. So if that's the break room, that's fine. But more than likely, you want this to be separated from where you are. You want to take people out of their environment of just work and put them in a place where they can feel more comfortable being more personal. In a lot of major cities, there's a coffee shop around the corner. In some other places, it may be worth just getting in the car and going five minutes to that local Starbucks. But you're more likely to get a more of a conversation there than sitting in the office. And two, when you get there, you just wanna have a normal conversation. Try not to bring up work. Just ask people how they're doing, what's on their mind. And from there, you'll get more conversations about the whole of someone rather than just what you need them for. We all know the difference between being used and not feeling used. And we're more apt to give our full selves to a project or the work when we feel like we are respected totally as a person rather than just a tool. Direction. How do you set yourself up? How do you set your team up? I think you should have a reminder at the end of every day to set up a coffee with someone. You don't have to act on it, but more than likely you work with more than one person. 
And what you'll find is the more you go out to coffee within a span of time, say if you make it once a week or once every two weeks, you'll start to find that you build a rapport with that person. And the team will see it because your interactions between the people that you go out with coffee with will be much better. So on the other hand, that means you should be going out to coffee with everyone. As a leader, you don't want to show preferential treatment. You want to focus and get that coffee with everyone on your team so you have a better relationship. And hey, as a side effect, it might spread to the other people on your team. More empathy all around equals better work. If you found this topic of leadership interesting, take a look in the description box and you'll find a couple of books that have helped my understanding of how to become a better leader and some of the pitfalls that I've found across the way. Especially when it comes to leadership, this is not a one-way conversation. I'm not just talking to you. And this isn't just a two-way conversation. You're not just talking to me and I'm talking to you. This is actually a conversation amongst the tribe of leaders. That can't start without you injecting some opinion or idea in the comment box below. Talk about some of your own personal stories and help engage all of us into learning how to be a better leader from you. I'm not the only teacher, I'm also a student.